So the alternative care sites that we're looking at would involve bringing in the FMS and placing them within. Two weeks ago, the first strategic supply of resources arrived on island through the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The supply includes personal protective equipment, ventilators, and also 50 federal medical stations or FMS beds. According to FEMA Region 9 spokesperson Frank Mansell, to date Guam has received two of these shipments and a third is being assessed. While the question still stands, where will these supplies be housed, as they remain in storage waiting for a location to be determined? FEMA, in partnership with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Honolulu District and Naval Facilities Engineering Command Marianas, have assessed seven unnamed sites around the island for potential alternate care facilities. And Mansell says as of today, they have narrowed it down to two sites. You've got to take a tape measure to this, and is it going to work? So as much as there's a punch list and, and an assessment done, you actually have somebody from the, uh, from the uh, uh, federal medical station uh, is on, on the island here, and she's going through and making sure that the, all of the details are looked after. The finer details include mapping out placement for the beds and further assessing floor plans. The alternate care facilities will be used for non-ICU COVID treatment. Mansell says in part of a mission assignment, there will be off-island personnel manning the sites. The Corps of Engineers can't provide medical staff, so we're going to have to go through Health and Human Services or uh, another federal agency to pull together the staff that will uh, look after the uh, the federal medical stations at the alternative care sites. Mansell adds Guam has kits on the way from U.S. Health and Human Services. During our I-94 FM containing COVID morning report, KUAM asked FEMA on what's become a controversial topic, South Korean test kits. According to Mansell, the CNMI's 60,000 test kit order was not shipped through the agency. However, he confirms that they are eligible for reimbursement through FEMA. However, as we've reported, Governor Lou Leon Guerrero has asserted that Guam will not be receiving this aid. That would be something, first of all, that they, you know, that, that's something that the governor would have to request. I, I don't know that um, the request would be denied. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. KUAM has reached out to the CNMI governor's office for the expense amount. And as of news time, we have not received a response on the matter.